Handling events with React elements is very similar to handling events on DOM elements, but there are some syntax differences. Here are two examples, HTML and React. React events are named using camel case rather than lowercase. With JSX, you pass a function as an event handler rather than a string. Another difference is that you cannot return false to prevent default behavior in React. You must call prevent default explicitly. For example, with plain HTML, to prevent the default link behavior of opening a new tab, you can write this. We just add return false at the end. In React, we would do this instead. On click, we call the handle click function, which has access to the event. Then we call event.preventDefault. This will prevent the default link behavior of opening a new page. When you define a component using an ES6 class, a common pattern is for an event handler to be a method on the class. For example, this toggle component renders a button that lets the user toggle between on and off states. You have to be careful about the meaning of this in JSX callbacks. In JavaScript, class methods are not bound by default. If you forget to bind this.handleClick and pass it to onClick, this will be undefined when the function is actually called. This is not React-specific behavior. It's a part of how functions work in JavaScript. Generally, if you refer to a method without parentheses after it, such as onClick this.handleClick, you should bind that method. This is yet another reason why using function-based components instead of class-based is now recommended by React. Here's the same example converted into a function-based component. Here we use useState, which gives us our state value and our setter function to change our state. We use that function in our onClick and that's it. So much more simple. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.